I just stabbed myself in the eyeball with a faucet. I'm okay though. I think I'm okay. Hope that doesn't bruise and cause like a black eye. <laughs> How do I explain that one? You should have seen the other guy. <laughs> I was brushing my teeth in the truck stop here and uh, I bent down to spit the toothpaste out into the sink. And this is one of those faucets that you pull up to turn it on and it was pointed up and I went like boom right into my eye. Ugh! Apparently I'm not very good at brushing my teeth. <laughs> Give myself a black eye. Here you go, Diesel. Here's your food. You hungry? You hungry? Well, eat your breakfast, man. Go for it. Okay, how about you come down here? All right. All right. There you go, bud. All for you. Go to town. Have fun. I got my banana breakfast right here. Oh, you want this now? Well, I'll give you a little bit if you finish that. So today, we're here in Cochrane, Alberta, just west of the city of Calgary. And this is what it looks like outside my windshield as I woke up. It's beautiful out today. We're going that way into the mountains. So it'll be a day of mountains. And hopefully the weather is okay. From here it looks like it's all clear. You never know, once you get in there in the thick of them, it might turn into... Let's see, let's see what Google has to say. Let's say what, what the weather's around Golden. Hey, hey Google, what's the weather in Golden, BC? In Golden, it's minus 22 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be mostly cloudy with a forecasted high of minus 10 and a low of minus 22. So it's not going to be snowy, it's going to be a little chilly, but okay, Google. What's the weather like in Kamloops, BC? Currently in Kamloops, it's minus 18 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of minus 7 and a low of minus 18. But no snow. All right. Okay, Google. What's the weather like in Surrey, BC? Right now in Surrey, it's minus four and sunny. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of zero and a low of minus seven. Beautiful. No snow to worry about. There's a little bit of cold, but it gets warmer as we go further west. Good. All right, let's get out of here. Keep eating, buddy. Eat your breakfast. I need you to grow big and strong, you old man. I guess you're already done growing, but I need you to eat the food I bought for you. It was expensive. Well, my truck, being the truck that it is, decided that just as I was about to put her in gear, it should do a regen. So often it does that. It's like you can sense that I'm ready to go. And it's like, nope, nope, no trucker Josh, you're not ready to go. Well, now I am. Let's get out of here before it decides to do something else. The weather's a lot nicer this morning than it was last night. Last night it was minus 30 when I pulled in here, minus 31, something like that. It was cold, it was cold, very cold. It's falling around here. Oh, these... uh, safety glasses of mine don't want to stay on their little perch. Okay, focus, Josh, focus. It's time to work, time to get the job done. We're gonna get to the customer tonight. I'm gonna park right outside there so I'm ready for them first thing in the morning. Oh boy, look at these bumps here. How am I supposed to merge onto the highway when these massive life-altering potholes are here? Yikes. Oh boy. Good thing they got a little ramp here. Okay, we made it. Let's go.
around these tight corners here is the town of Golden, British Columbia. I'm gonna stop here for a break, a little coffee, let the weasel out. Just passed by a crazy train derailment that happened yesterday. So this is old news for you guys by the time you see this video. But there was a train derailment around Field, BC. And like a hundred cars came off the track and three of the crew members died. And it, it's a big mess. There was a huge emergency cleanup crew all around that town there. Very sad. Three people won't get to go home to their families and they don't know what the cause of it is. Apparently the train was parked at the station in Field on an incline, or on a decline, sorry, on a hill, parked for two hours there, and then they switched crew. And when the, the new crew came on, all that they know is that they weren't ready to depart yet, but the train brakes released, and the train started moving on its own down the track with nobody controlling it. And it uh, went over speed, went around a corner, and uh, they said that the front Lead locomotive. Oh, there's a big ram right here on our left. Check that out. See that? Wow. Just hanging out. I thought that was a statue at first. <laughs> wow. Anyway, the, the, the lead locomotive uh, went into the, the Kicking Horse River. And... Tons and tons of grain cars. It was a it was a train full of grain cars, just dumped everywhere. I'm gonna warn this guy that there's a ram up ahead. Hopefully he takes her easy. They should be going pretty slow anyways because of these corners. All of these drivers are headed straight towards that ram. Thanks. Hopefully he's not on the road now. Wouldn't doubt it. Those things always wander all over the place. But hey, I'm sure they'll be able to dodge that ram. Can you see it? Where is he? Where is he? Just watching the security cameras at home. And we got our guy clearing our yard right now. <laughs> He's doing a really good job. I don't know what this is. Pecora? I got it at the Husky here. What does it say? There's potato, romaine, spinach, cauliflower, onion, chickpea flour, and spices. No idea what it is, but it looks good. Sounds good. I'm gonna eat it. Any of you heard of this before? Oh no. It looks like they're doing inspections today. We're at the scale just past Golden, or just west of Golden, BC. And I see inspectors meandering around, milling about, loitering around outside here, taking a close look at the trucks as they come past. At least they were when I was pulling in. I don't know, I can't see right now because this guy's got his big butt in my way. Let's see, hopefully we can just go on through. I, I got a really light load. I'm no, nowhere even close to being overweight. All my lights are on, they're working, they can see that. Watch this, I'll even clean my windshield right now so they can tell my wipers are working. They have no reason to pull me in. Come on, come on, hurry up, buddy, hurry up. I can't see the sign. Can't see the sign. There it is. That real slow. See, I'm only at what, like 12,000 kilograms on my drives. The trailer will be even less. Seventy-eight kilo, hundred kilograms, and green light, green light, green light. They didn't change it. So let's get out of here before they change their mind. They've sure gotten a lot of snow here recently. Yikes. That is covering everything. I'm 
I'm glad I missed that. Roads are pretty much clear now. As clear as they're gonna get at this time of year. We must be pretty high up in altitude. I don't have any settings set on my GPS. I can set my GPS to tell me how high we are, but I don't have that set up right now. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? It's like a, this is a true winter wonderland. Wow, if it wasn't for all this dirty salt on the road here, That'd be a lot of fun to play around with, or play around in, with a snowmobile. As long as there was no avalanches. I'm kind of paranoid of mountains and snow and avalanches. I'm a prairie boy, I'm not used to that kind of stuff. There's some kind of accident scene up ahead. So I don't know what's going on here, but all these trucks have sort of pulled off to the side. We got more cars coming up beside us here. I don't think they're supposed to go past, but there they go. I'm gonna pull up over there, I guess. I have no idea what's going on. There was signs coming up to this mess that there was an accident scene ahead. But look at this guy's load in front of me there. Does that look safe? Just got like one strap tying down all of that mess right there. That's crazy. That looks pretty crazy. That doesn't look like that's gonna hold. Well, we're moving now. There's gotta be close to 100 trucks in this convoy now. <laughs> Not too sure where the accident was, but I'm sure we will see it. They closed the highway completely for, well, we were only there for what, maybe 20 minutes? They probably got it, uh, probably had to block the highway while they pulled whatever it was out of the ditch or cleared the road. I have a feeling I know where the accident happened. There's a sharp curve coming up here. We're just at the summit of Rogers Pass. Oh, look at this guy. Wide load through BC. That's got to pay a pretty penny. Here's the warning sign on the right that there's a sharp curve coming up. We're all slowing down again. I bet you anything somebody wasn't paying attention to the sign and they didn't take it seriously. I've seen more than one accident at this corner here. It's on the downhill and if it's slippery and people aren't careful or if they're inexperienced and they don't exactly know what they're doing, it can be a, a deadly corner or a costly corner at least. Hopefully there was no serious injuries in this accident. There's a front end loader here. There were signs that said accident scene ahead. So 
I don't think they're just clearing snow here, though I'm guessing they'd have to close this highway for short periods of time to clear all the snow out of here too. It's another vehicle. Park Warden. Oh, no, no, that's, that's just a register. I thought that was the truck rolled over over there. Still don't see it. We've got to be getting close though. Here's the cones. More flashing lights up ahead. Suspense, I know, right? I want to see what happened too. And here it comes. Check this mess out. Right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yep. You came down the hill too fast, didn't you? Came down the hill too fast. Well, I hope that teaches them. Maybe I should word that better. That sounded kind of cold. I mean that I hope that he learns his lesson. You know, some people, that'll happen to them, and they won't learn their lesson. They'll just do it again. You know, going through the mountain passes, there's always that one driver that, how do we say this? Goes excessively slow and is excessively careful. I can't say that's a bad thing, especially after what we just saw. However, that's the person that goes, speed limit through here is 100. And I'm talking, there's always one person who slows down to at least 50, like half the speed limit for every single corner, even though the pavement is dry, right? There's always one. The only problem with us all being backed up like this now, now we're in like a hundred truck convoy, is that, you know it, that guy is right at the front. Of course, right? Of course. Why would they put him at the back? That'd be no fun. You can't hold anybody up back there. Put them at the front so everybody has to slow down. I know how hypocritical I sound because we just saw that accident and I'm telling people they should be careful, but there's a point to where if you're too careful, you're more of a, an obstruction and more of a danger on the road. You know what I mean? Am I making sense? I don't know, I got a little bit of a headache. I don't know if I'm making sense or not. Hazel Weasel. Hazel Weasel. Say something, man. Say something. Speak into the mic. Speak into the mic. Why, I, I, I'm very nervous right now, man. You put me on your spot. I know. I know. Putting you on the spot. How was your day? Tell the good people. Well, the well, day was very good, thank you. You did very good. Uh, saw some mountains, saw, saw a goat. Diesel, that was a ram. It wasn't a goat. It was a goat with horns. And he's my friend. Well then, okay. Good for you, you made a friend today. Good boy. So thank you for joining me today. I think today's vlog turned out to be a little longer than the usual vlog, I hope filmed quite a bit. I hope that it all worked out and that the vlog flowed smoothly. So we're in Chilliwack, British Columbia right now, about 67 kilometers or 40 miles from our customer. We've got to be there at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning and we'll be there. Time is now 10 o'clock, so we have 11 hours. Perfect. So tomorrow we're unloading in Surrey, British Columbia. Then we backtrack to Langley, reload some more of that insulation that I have to tarp. Let me bring that back to Portage La Prairie. And then this truck needs a service. So we'll be home until that happens. Which... I'm thinking I might be home for uh, three, four, five days, something like that. Because uh, this load, they would like it there on Friday. They would like it there. But I'm only going to be leaving here tomorrow around like supper time. And it takes two full days to get back home. Tomorrow's a Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, supper time, the whole site's going to be closed down. I won't be able to deliver on Friday. So I'm probably going to have to backtrack to Portage Prairie from home 
on Monday and deliver it Monday. And then I'll get this truck serviced on Tuesday and then we'll leave on another trip on Wednesday. So that means I would be home Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four days. And that'll pretty much be my whole February home time all in one. Because February is such a short month, we have to get extra work in sort of to make it a full month's worth of work. So that I get paid next month for this month the same as any other month. I'm talking too much. I'm tired. I don't know why I'm out of breath, too. It's a hard life being a truck driver. <laughs> I'm healthy, I swear. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please subscribe to my channel here. Go down below to the description. You'll find links to my wife's channel, all of our social media, and everything else you need to know about my life. I invite you to follow me on every platform you feel like following me on. I'll see you later.